top story at three. The defense continues to call more witnesses today in the penalty phase for the Parkland school shooter. They spoke mostly about the shooter's experiences as a child. This as the judge told jurors to disregard shocking testimony that He's stunned the courtroom. Local defense Christina Vasquez joins us live outside the courtroom in Fort Lauderdale to explain Christina. And the context of all of this, of course, is that the defense is trying to convince these jurors to decide that life is the appropriate punishment. And as it said in its opening statement, they want to provide evidence about his life story, about his background, which they believe are reasons for life. Was he responsive when you spoke to him? Hardly ever. Young Nicholas Cruz. He was delayed in independent skills. He was delayed in language, gross motor, fine motor. Quick to be overstimulated, stressed out, overwhelmed, said the then director of his preschool. On the wall, he would be rocking back and forth while he was suiting his arms. Using his hands. He would point. As he struggled with language delays. Part. The pushing and grabbing the toys, it was because he didn't know how to express himself. Social skills, not at par with others nearing two years of age, choosing to self-isolate, she said, or in other circumstances, lash out. He, bit, he didn't know how to socially involve himself or what have you, and the child had his arm out and Nicholas spit him. Do you think Nicholas was a bully? I would not say Nicholas was a bully. Nicholas just didn't have the social skills. And she had this to say about his adoptive mother, Linda Cruz. Let's have the professionals assess him. And that took a little while for her to get on board? A little bit, but tried their best. Nicholas had, was not speaking as fast. Trish Devaney Westerland's daughter attended the same preschool. Linda was her maid of honor and told jurors when the friends got together for play dates is when it became evident to her Nicholas was developmentally delayed. He didn't play with them. He would go and hide behind the blinds. I had she also claimed Linda told her the son of a family friend sexually abused Cruz. The state objected as hearsay. There was a statement made by the witness regarding something that was told to her uh, about sodomy. The judge telling jurors to disregard. It is not for consideration before you as evidence in this case. And she also told jurors that she speaks to Nicholas Cruz in jail quite frequently, up to four times a week. Now, at this point, as far as we have seen, the jurors have not been presented with the actual summary of the jail calls, but we have obtained them from the Broward Sheriff's Office. And for instance, in just one of them, you see the two of them t talking and the conversation was about court. This is in July and that he is going to wear a mask so the jury can't see him smile or laugh. We do not know when or if the jurors will actually see those summaries, but you can read those jail calls for yourself on our website. That is local 10 dot com. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, Christina, thank you. And to stay on top of the Parkland School Shooter penalty phase, follow this QR code for our in-depth section on our website, local10.com.